morning everybody feels like freedom yep I'm on an essential journey otherwise the bike would be in the shed but yeah I'm uh, just going across to Paul Nobbs motorcycles over at Sutton near Ely and uh, I'm having new tyres I wanted to get them done last year and didn't and uh, I took the bike over to Wheels in Peterborough um, I don't know that was the beginning of February back end of January back end of January I think but I trailed it across because the weather was absolutely crap so I put it on the trailer and took it across and they said in there that the uh, tyres were worn whether they was trying to drum up business I don't know but anyway I've been wanting to change them because they're still on standards and uh, not overconfident with them but hey ho they've done what they've done now just over 4,000 miles so they ain't done too bad I'm just having a steady ride the roads have been that's about minus three that felt good yeah it's about minus three and the roads have been gritted so they're a bit greasy on the corners so I'm just taking it steady but nice straight bit of road there I just thought I'd get, open it up load of cobwebs out that's been sitting in the shed since oh when we done the mince pie run so that was the beginning of December so it's the first time out on it what have we got here I hope this camera angle is okay um, as I said I haven't been out since December so uh, the camera angle has all probably been moved and one thing and another but I'm hoping you can get the gist of what I'm doing but yeah as I said I'm uh, having new tyres and I've opted for the um, Michelin Road 5s they seem to be a long lasting tyre a good tyre in the wet and the dry and how the weather was when we came back from Skegness last year you need good weather tyres, good wet weather tyres so I thought I'd take the plunge So how's everybody been keeping? Okay I hope, I would have hoped most of you or a lot of you now would have had your injection depending on your age group and your situation I'm still waiting for mine, the missus has had hers but I'm still waiting for mine but yeah I hope everybody's keeping safe I know um that was the 17th of February they opened up a new um, well I think they call it a lateral flow test centre they opened one up in Mildenhall and because I live close there I thought yeah we'll go along get tested I know I'm clear and because uh, I'm, I'm still working I thought well I know I'm not taking it into work then doing the right thing and they usually send you a text they say within an hour and uh, so I went in had that done went off to work it was about an hour later your test has come back positive you need to isolate for 10 days I thought what? I can believe it, oh bloody hell I felt fine, I'd got no symptoms, nothing 
but that is the idea of this these particular centers so anyway I went in and told them in the office and uh, I had to self-isolate for 10 days but anyway because I'd been near them they had to do the same but what they've done, which is fair comment, I can understand it, which I quite agree. They booked in, they got in touch with the 911. No, 119. That's it, 119 National Health Service number for the um, COVID. And they all got tests booked. Was it a CPU or something? I don't know. But these are the ones where have you been in, in contact? These are the driving ones, where's a a more intense test. Well there's all come back negative. So I thought right. We got in there, we rung them up, we got a test. Bearing in mind this was the same day as I had that one in the morning. We went to the um drive through one at Milton in Cambridge and uh, that would be the Thursday afternoon the test results came back negative I thought great you know I haven't got to do the isolation I can go back to work I haven't got to be stuck at home rung them up no because you've had a test that's shown positive you've got to isolate for 10 days so I phoned them up at work and told them they weren't very happy but it is what it is unfortunately and that's what we said you know it is what it is you've got to do what you've got to do so anyway they phoned I think they phoned the NHS and what have you and because they had all had a negative test and they was all symptom free, they was all fine you know, no issues, no cold, no health problems at all they could actually go back to work so they went, they started back on the Monday but I had to have the um, the full week, I went back Monday just gone and uh, yeah so that, that was a close one so these lateral flow tests they but like they said they can give a false positive but at the same time you can get a false negative so we said oh shit so what do we do they said well you've got to stay self-isolation So that was basically treated it like a holiday to be honest, although we couldn't go anywhere because we couldn't leave the property. So we got a few jobs done in the garden and I got the bike out one day and I give that a good clean and polish and cleaned all the shit off the exhausts from the winter and cleaned and polished the car up and you know, I've done a few jobs that needed doing so yeah so that's uh, what I've been up to not a lot to be honest <laughs> but I've got a little further to go yet before I get to Sutton I'm now on the um, Ely Bypass the new one they put in Well, I'm now coming up to Sutton. Um, yeah, Paul Nobbs motorcycles. Um, I've known Paul oh, quite a few years. When I used to do motocross back in the 80s, and uh, Stuart Nunn uh, had a shop. You might, if you know the, if you follow the motocross. Um, Stuart Nunn is Carl Nunn's dad and uh, yeah Stuart used to have a shop in Sutton 
used to sell uh, Kawasaki and Suzuki bikes and that's where I used to go and get all mine from and Paul was his mechanic in the workshop in the back there in the back of the shop there so uh, that's how I knew Paul but yeah his place is just up here on the right where this blue canopy is somebody here anyway right we'll talk to you shortly right I'm back home and I uh, <laughs> never switched the camera on properly when I left uh, Paul Knobs motorcycles but it's Sunday afternoon now so I thought well I'll come out here and just finish the video off and um, as you can see, I've had uh, new tyres on there. You get close up at the front there. There you go, the Road 5s. And uh, yeah, the bike is looking good. I'm pleased with it at the moment. Yep. And uh, swing around here at the back. There you go, look. Nice new Road 5s. Dog getting in the way. But no, I just thought I'd show you a few things that I've done to it. I've, uh, don't know if you can see in there, I've changed the um, light bulbs. I've got LEDs in there for the indicator. And I've just noticed the paint is starting to come off my tail tidy. Well, that's another job to be done. Spree spray that. I only just noticed that as I'm talking to you guys. But yeah, so that's the what I've done there, fitted a new can, that's not an Acroprovich or whatever you call them, it's just a cheap one off Amazon to be honest, I think it's about 25 quid and sound just as good and that's not doing too bad, done that, added me little bell, just see it down there, what else have I done, yeah I've got an alarm on it, um, yeah, you know, I've added them little mirrors and the aftermarket levers and a lot of people talk to me about them, them little LEDs. They are really bright and uh, yeah, people reckon they can see me coming a long way off. That headlight, look, that indicator light on there looks, oh that's gone crazy. I don't know why that is. And um, I've added this, just a little lift up screen and uh, that's worth its weight in gold to be honest because that just takes that little bit of wind away from your head. So uh, yeah, there's my bike. I don't think I've done a walk around on it actually. So yeah, that's not done too bad. I was just... 4,200 mile on it now so I've got to get out this year and get some more miles on it but having said that I was talking to Jim last night from the Cambridge Bikes and Trikes and there's a ride coming up in July no June it's the Red Road Day and that's a ride for the NHS that's all run by the veterans, I think. That's to say thank you to the NHS, anyway, for all their hard work this last year or so. So anyway, with that, I'm going to finish this off here. And you know, i just got my little sticker in there. I don't know if you can see it. How close we got to get. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, yeah, with that, you all ride safe and if you haven't done already hit the subscribe button be much appreciated and um, hopefully now this lockdown is going to ease very soon um, we'll hopefully see you all out and about take care everybody bye for now